Welcome back to Big Board. We're looking at next war India Pakistan. This is one of several videos where I'm just giving you a feel for the gameplay. We're not going to get too much into the detail, although we have managed to sidetrack ourselves and get into some of that detail in the videos. We are, in fact, just going to boom, just share the sequence of play and go through things. And you may look at the map and go, whoa, what the hell is going on here? So this is uh, nukes on the loose or loose nukes or something like that is the name of the scenario. It's a little bit different from, from some of the other scenarios. It's pretty much all out uh, war from the get-go. And the object is to find all the nuclear facilities and uh, items of interest. But basically, it's your uh, uh, scavenger hunt war game. <laughs> Excuse me. So. Uh, we are currently in the first turn and we are in the initiative movement and combat phase. And I have finished moving all of the allied units, all of the Russians. I have not done the Russians. I'm not going to do the Russians yet. We're going to wait a turn and see where we can use them most effectively. I have uh, airborne moved the 101st and 82nd airborne units. And, you know, I just realized as we speak, that HQ, these guys can't make it there. They, they're going to have to be dropped, not moved. These guys can do helicopter movement because they have a factor of 24, as you can probably see there. Right, so that's a wrinkle. So we need to stick a die on top of that so we don't forget. We need to roll probably for a landing there. Everyone else has moved. Everyone else is in position to make attacks. We're going to roll around the board and do combat. The way this works here is that you'll have a combat segment and the initiative player will declare and resolve all the combats one at a time. Uh, you declare the attacks one at a time, do your odds, do your column shifts. Then both sides allocate uh, their choppers, air units or naval. And uh, that they're going to be the CSMs, the combat support missions that are going to you know, influence the final odds or DRMs. Obviously, if you do use air, you're going to have to then apply uh, air defense, flak, AA, SAM style stuff, determine all the DRMs, resolve each combat, and then we're going to go through the retreat advance business. And then the elite reaction movement segment would be after that. And that is the enemy's opportunity to move units. And so this unit here, which has a efficiency rating of six, so you can see that guy there is a six. He'll be able to move anything with a six or seven or possibly an eight can move. And everything else is gonna to have to kind of sit there. So that would be just a, a, some, a small handful of some of the Pakistani, Pakistani's more effective units. One way that we could have stopped these elite units from moving is to actually uh, have put a strike marker on them, so attack them uh, in the air, from the air. So a smart guy, instead of attacking this unit, would have attacked this unit here and prevented this honking 15, 10, 5 from uh, reacting to whatever's going on in, in, the, in the neighborhood, so to speak. All right, so that's what's gonna happen. Uh, we'll come back in a few minutes, have a look at some of the combat results, and I will have resolved this 101st Airborne business over here. Well, actually, 82nd Airborne will take care of it. Talk to you soon.